To be an effective academic writer, you need to have three things uh, in your word processing software. You need to have a reference management software, you should use Grammarly or some other AI-powered spell checking tool, and then you should uh, know how to use word styles to be able to use the outlining tool. And in this video, I'll talk a bit about reference management software. These software are something that most professional researchers use, as far as I know, and they automate making the reference list at the end of the document. And they kind of makes the work a bit more rigorous because it forces you to insert citations after you, you write something to uh, use the software properly. The book talks about this software, this software and uh, they start with EndNote, then they mentioned uh, Sotero and Mendeley. The uh, EndNote is something, it's a commercial software and it's older than Zotero and Mendeley. I have EndNote installed. I much prefer these open source, open free alternatives, Mendeley and Zotero over EndNote. I think EndNote is a bit clunky. But why EndNote is so popular is that there is this path dependency that if you have written most of your documents uh, using EndNote this far and all of your articles are in EndNote, then switching to a different software is very challenging. So EndNote continues to be used by professional researchers because uh, they have been using it in the past and there are switching costs. But for students and beginners, I recommend Zotero or Mendeley and they are as good or better than EndNote. The university recommends Zotero and they have instructions. So whenever you run into the problem, you can contact the university support and they will help you. But briefly, what all this software do, though they might do it in different ways, is to manage your PDFs and manage your article references. So whenever you find something uh, uh, worth reading in Zotero, worth storing, there is this uh, Zotero Pro browser integration gives you this icon up here. And when you click on that icon, then it saves the, uh, the article and the reference information for that article into your article database. Then you have the Zotero software on your computer, or you can, you can have, use it through browser, but having it on your computer works a lot better than the browser version. Then you have this database where you can organize different PDFs, you can tag them. So for example, if you're doing a systematic literature review, this would be a very a great way of, of screening articles. So we first uh, import all articles into Zotero and then you would flag the ones that you take into your review and then we flag those that you don't include in your review. So collecting articles is, is one, one use for this software. What I do whenever I open an article in the database is that if, if there's any chance that I will ever return to that article later, which is pretty much always the case, I will import into the Zotero and then I will open it from Zotero the PDF. So that means that I have a record of everything that what I've read and I can just sort my library from here and see what are all the articles that I've read in the last one month or so. If there's something that I just want to check something quickly without ever returning back to it, then my, I might skip uh, importing it here. But otherwise, when I see an article, it always goes to Zotero and then I read it. These tools are also useful in, in writing. So when you write something, then, uh, and it's time to insert a citation, there is a button and there's also a keyboard shortcut, but the button is going to be more easier for beginners. So you click on add citation and then uh, this, this uh, red bar pops up and then you start typing title, author's name, journal, something. You type something into the search box and then it gives you articles. So we can pick this article and then it cites and it automatically adds it to the bibliography. If you don't have a bibliography in the document, you can add it from the add or edit bibliography. When Before we didn't have these tools, uh, we used to do this by hand, so these references by hand. I remember a friend of mine wrote a master's thesis uh, that was 200 pages long, like excessively long master's thesis, and the last week was writing the, uh, the reference list because he didn't know about this software. So this can save uh, hours or days of your time. It takes maybe one or two hours to learn this software, but then it's a huge time saver. And if you're in the beginning of your studies, I would immediately adopt one of these software, either Sotero or Mendeley, for all coursework. So these are the, uh, the alternatives that we have. We have Zotero, we have Mendeley, both are free. 
end of the study a free, dial, free trial, but that's not very useful. And then something else you can use, but the important thing is that you adopt one of these software for your academic writing.